With RPG Maker MV being the latest addition to the PC series of RPG Makers, does that make RPG Maker VX Ace and under obsolete? What exactly makes them different? Why would one choice be better than the other? In this video, we are going to figure that out. One of the biggest reasons to choose RPG Maker MV over VX Ace or under is because of its ability to export to HTML5. This allows you to port the game over to Android or iOS, as well as upload your game directly to be played on the web browser on websites like itch.io or your own personal website. Being in HTML5, RPG Maker MV is generally playable through a lot of different devices and CPU architectures. Theoretically, your game should be able to run on an ARM-based CPU or an x86 CPU without much of a hassle. MV also lets you export for Mac and Linux. While the other versions of RPG Maker don't necessarily have these features, that doesn't mean they're bad either. For example, RPG Maker VX Ace allows you to script in what's called Ruby Game Scripting System 3, which is the third installment of the RGSS in the RPG Maker series. RGSS started with RPG Maker XP, and basically it allows you to write everything that the game runs on using Ruby, a pretty simple to learn language that's also very flexible and powerful. The previous versions of RPG Maker allowed you to run custom DLL files, allowing you to modify the game, if you're professional enough that is, to almost the same level as you could do with MV. Ruby Game Scripting System is a lot easier to learn than JavaScript, it's less confusing, so if you're going to be getting into some scripting, you might want to start with a different RPG Maker, unless you already know JavaScript. The differences between RGSS and RGSS3 as far as I know are minimal, so whichever version you get, Starting with RPG Maker XP, you should be pretty happy. If you're not into scripting at all, or the thoughts of scripting scare you, or maybe you just want some sort of limitations to challenge your creative skills, then I would go with RPG Maker 2003, or 2000. 2000 or 2003 do not have any form of scripting whatsoever, however, the eventing system is vastly superior to that of any other RPG Maker out there. Through eventing with RPG Maker 2000 and 2003, you can do so many really cool things. You can do custom battle systems, custom menu systems, even custom title screens. You name it, it can be done in RPG Maker 2003 with just eventing alone. The limitations of RPG Maker 2003, I believe, are the screen resolution is 320 by 240 so the sprites look very pixely, which personally doesn't bother me any, and the graphics have to be 16-bit, so they have to be indexed with a 16-bit color palette. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the graphics, as the engine only knows how to render, well, 16-bit graphics. But do not let that scare you away from this. Trust me, RPG Maker 2003 is one of them that I have the most fun using, simply because of its limitations, because it really challenges your creative skill, and its powerful eventing system. As far as mapping goes, if you are a mapper, then I recommend going for RPG Maker XP. RPG Maker XP has three layers that you can draw on, and each layer has the exact same tiles, as well as the tile set being expandable, meaning all you have to do is increase the height of your tile set image, and the tile set will automatically expand, unlike other RPG Makers which have a fixed tile set size. However, if you want to do mapping as well, but you want to use a different RPG Maker, you can always do what's called parallax mapping, which is where you actually create the map in an image editor and then simply set it as a parallax and you have an overlaid picture. RPG Maker XP does not have a character generator, however, but VX Ace and MV do. But anything under VX Ace does not have a character generator. The character generators basically allow you to quickly create a character, which could be useful for people who are not artists but yet want at least a somewhat original character besides the ones that they started with. So to answer the question of the video title, are other versions of RPG Maker obsolete? In my opinion, the answer is no. They're most definitely not. Each RPG Maker has its own unique property that makes it a little bit more fun to use than another version. Also, you're able to sell your games that you make with RPG Maker on Steam or itch.io or anything like that. So just pick whichever one you think that you're going to have the most fun with, because that's really what's most important. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. See you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching.